Let's start with the runes and then we're going to pull some cards here. We're using the Everyday Tarot, the Body Tarot, and we're also going to use the Enchanted Map Oracle. So let's jump in. So what's the energy around my Libras? Libras, let's see. Okay, so the first rune I wanna draw attention to, we have the standstill rune, it is at a slant. Um, so this is saying that you guys are in between state of being at a standstill, either coming out of it and finally getting your mojo back but being in that like gradual point or we're in in reverse it could be a situation where you're starting to slow down and the message here there may be a need for you to take some time to pause and reflect on some things before you make some sort of concrete choice or decision on something you may be needing more information um also, I'm just getting the energy of you guys need to prioritize just rest in general. There's nothing wrong with getting rest. There's nothing wrong with taking a break when it's necessary. It's just knowing for how long and, and how to come back after some sort of break, feeling refreshed or in two and instead of having to go back into some sort of break. Uh, I also have the flow rune and it's kind of slanted as well here, almost reversed. So, uh, this is making sure that you're allowing things to organically happen. You can't force outcomes. You can't force things to go the way that you would like it to, unfortunately, because spirit knows what's best for us. Spirit has a wider view than us. So understand that what's meant for us will be. So there's no need to force. More, more so, it's calling you to be in tune with the flow of things. I also have the signals card in reverse, or signals card, the signal rune in reverse. So this could be you not paying attention to certain things, certain signs, certain uh, downloads that spirit may have been giving you, okay? It's also saying that the details are within your situation or the answers are within the details of your situation. Hmm. This is all about also gifts that some of you may have when it comes to being intuitive and when it comes to being someone who has gifts of receiving like divine, divine downloads and maybe you're a reader yourself. This is making sure you're not neglecting your gifts just for the sake of making other people comfortable or being scared of what other people may think. Hmm. There's also the messenger room, which is actually interesting. But let's continue. Um, let's also look at the opening room. So it is kind of slanted as well. So some of you guys may be needing to be more open, more present, making sure that you're not blocking blessings off by being too closed off or being too, what's the word, rigid. Hmm. This is also the get in where you fit in energy. So yeah, in order for you to have certain manifestations happen, you need to get in where you fit in. <laughs> uh, also, this is speaking to like renewed clarity. So when it comes to confusion or doubt that you may have, like I said, I just really get this energy of needing to reflect. And when it comes to even love, let's say, for example, some of you guys, when it comes to dating, you realize that certain triggers may pop off when it comes to you dating, whether that's you have this fear of getting cheated on or picking the wrong person, whatever it may be. With these triggers or trauma, there's a need for you to work on that in order for you to really find the relationship that you're looking for. I'm not saying be just this completely healed, evolved version because healing is not just a five week period. Uh, it's a knowing how to deal with certain things type of thing that 
occurs when it comes to healing. You more so learn how to deal with certain traumas instead of pushing them off and ignoring them in your healing process. So with this, it's just working through certain things that you haven't really evolved from mentally or you haven't allowed yourself to release that could be holding you back. Now, I want to go into the cards. Let's get into the body tarot. What are the messages coming through for my Libras? What are the messages coming through for my Libras? So we have the five of water, which is grief. We have the gall bladder, which is the devil card. And we also have the Ace of Water, which is the love card. Okay, so, Libra, so Libras. Uh, with the Five of Water being here, this is making sure you're not existing in a space of holding on to past experiences or past trauma in a way where you just keep grieving certain things that you've already went through or things that you think that you've already evolved from, but for some reason, those things just get triggered to come back up so if you are dealing with any type of grief this could be the very thing that's also keeping you from manifesting new love or new opportunities because you exist in this space of maybe wanting somebody to get some sort of karma and making that a point of focus so there's definitely a need to shake that also with the five of water this is like going through the process of accepting things. Uh, some of you guys are still going through that process. And what just needs to happen is patience with yourself needs to be introduced and recognizing that yes, it's a gradual process for you to let go of certain things that you went through, but not like also trying to force yourself in new circumstances at the same time and knowing this. Now, with the gallbladder showing up or the devil card, which represents like enslavement, ignorance, being trapped by your ignorance, anger, addiction, sexual energy. All right. So with this card showing up. Hmm. With this, this is making sure that you're not focusing on other people's actions and trying to control how other people move or how do I say this? This is making sure you realize that you can't control other people in the way that they move. All you can do is control how you allow people to treat you. So that could be something that some of you guys need to hear. It's also speaking to making sure that the people you keep around you are in your highest good that you're not around people that serve you no good purpose or encourage you to feed into certain addictions or destructive ways of thinking hmm. this is also paying attention to the things that you put into your body that could put you in lower vibes this could be eating the wrong things All right, but deeper than that, I also have the Ace of Waters, which would be the Ace of Cups. And this is speaking to loving on yourself more. Some of you guys need to pour more self-love into your situation in order for you to move certain mountains or obstacles in your life. This is also making sure you're not letting your emotions control your decision-making process when it comes to the truth and when it comes to what's what makes the most sense for you. Libras. What are the truths they need to hear as of right now? I have the balancing act part in reverse. I have home and we have the golden palace in reverse. So let me move this over a little. Okay, so with balancing act in reverse, this is acknowledging when you have too much on your plate 
it's okay to not have things all the way together sometimes and to expect perfection from yourself is to basically drive yourself insane okay nobody here on this earth is perfect no circumstance is 100 percent perfect so if you're beating yourself down spirit is saying take a chill pill and allow yourself some space to make mistakes sometimes okay This is also making sure that you don't have this mindset of being fixated on getting your way to a point to where you think something is going to make you happy and come to find out down the road, that's not necessarily the case. So don't be fixated on thinking that you you 100% know that, you know, being with this specific person is going to alleviate your level of depression or just almost getting into this mindset of being so sure that you know what's best for you beyond what the divine knows what's best for you. I hope you get what I mean by that. Uh, also with home, I think that there's a need for you to invite more good vibes into the home, whether this is changing up the feng shui so that you can feel more at home, maybe changing up your sheets or doing things a little bit differently. Also, if you live in a home environment where it's extremely toxic, but it's just fitting because financially it's you know beneficial, it's time to make preparations to position yourself in a better situation so you don't keep feeling like you're in some sort of torturous circumstance. Okay, this is also being unapologetically you and not worried about how other people feel about it. Now, also with the Golden Palace in reverse, this speaks to putting money away for a rainy day or not a rainy day, but putting money away for real security, making sure that the decisions that you're making financially benefit you in the long term. Okay, also Spirit is saying, making sure that you're not putting your, a level of emotional contentment on the material things that you have, whether that's the relationship that you're in, the financial situation that you're in. If you're not looking within as that source of happiness, then you'll always feel unhappy when you're using outside things to kind of bring you to that equilibrium of happiness. But getting into the cards we have, we have the three of Su the three of swords, the sun, the king of cups, the will of fortune, the three of wands, and the seven of pentacles. So yeah, this is also accepting that certain disappointments that you've went through were to more so teach you how to maneuver a lot better, not necessarily to put you into the space of not being able to elevate beyond this disappointment or failure, but to teach you a lesson so that you can better position yourself, okay? We have to bump our heads to know that something doesn't work, okay? It's just like when you're a kid and you touch the stove. You got to find out that the stove is hot so that you know how to maneuver from now on. So mistakes literally are a way for us to get closer to what works. So not nothing to beat yourself up over. Uh, when it comes to also some disappointment, or disappointment around a family situation, Spirit is saying you need to make sure you're not letting that affect how you raise your child. So if you're going through some troubles with the person you have kids with, finding some sort of way to co-parent, uh, not completely, you know, cutting off that relationship for your, your child is important. I'm not saying you guys be with them. I'm saying the relationship between you or not the relationship between you, them and the child, making sure you're not cutting that off just because you guys are not on the best of terms because this could create more disappointment for you via your child in the future if you're not careful. Um, you also may have somebody who you have children with who could be absent because of the fact that they are upset that you guys are not together still. And that's something that they're going to have to work through emotionally not anything that you need to internalize, especially if you know this already. Mm, Spirit is also asking you to look at the long term. 
in terms of your situation and that gives you the answers that you're looking for in terms of what's the best plan of action with a relationship a job a living situation look at the long term and where you want to be and if there's certain moves that you got to make to get there then that's what you need to do Th that's the answer but these are just some of the messages that i see i hope that this was helpful if it was definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat and i will see you later